Are you tired of working hard and still struggling with money despite following the traditional rules of financial success? Do you ever feel like something's not quite right with how money works? Well, get ready to learn some eye-opening secrets the rich don't usually tell you about money. First of all, you should forget the idea that just working hard, studying hard, and saving hard will make you rich. That's a surefire way to stay poor. Have you ever met a millionaire who got wealthy from a regular job and saving money? Probably not. The usual path of going to school, getting a job, and saving money is not the key to financial success. It keeps us stuck and dependent on others. In this video, we'll uncover the secrets of money and how you can use them to your advantage. You'll learn how to build wealth from scratch and break free from the cycle of working hard for little payoff. By the end of this video, you'll realize that getting rich doesn't always require a high-paying job, a college degree, or big savings. It's more about understanding how money works and having the right mindset, skills, and strategies. The rich folks who control the system don't want us to know how money really works. They want us to stay poor so they can keep taking advantage of us. Before we go deep, let's understand how the global economy works. Think of the global economy as a huge ocean where many different groups, including governments and regular people like you and me are all swimming together. It's a complex system, kind of like a big puzzle, and these institutions play a big role. What they do can affect economies everywhere. But what about us, the everyday people? Are we just watching all of this happen? Or do we have a role to? The individual's role in the global economy. Our choices, spending habits, and investment decisions as individuals have a collective impact on the economy. While governments and institutions have significant power in our global economy, the misconception that governments and big corporations solely control the global economy is widespread because we often hear about their actions in the news. But in reality, the global economy is like a symphony with various players, governments, financial institutions, corporations, and individuals each contributing to the overall melody. Understanding this complexity helps us make more informed decisions and realize our agency as individuals in shaping our financial destinies within the global economic landscape. So the next time someone claims that governments and big corporations control everything, you'll know better. It's not about pointing fingers at the government or big corporations. It's about understanding how money works, creating multiple income streams, and taking advantage of the systems in place. It's an empowering journey that starts with 1. Education and a shift in mindset Ever wondered why some effortlessly accumulate wealth while others struggle paycheck to paycheck? The answer lies in our education system and the beliefs ingrained in us from a young age. Our society tends to train us with a poor mindset, suggesting that money is scarce and we should save in banks. However, there's a catch. Banks use our money to lend to the wealthiest, who know how to multiply it, while we earn minimal interest. Consider the biographies of billionaires like Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, or Elon Musk, many of whom either skipped school or dropped out. This isn't a call to quit school. Education is valuable. However, schools often don't teach the real rules of money or entrepreneurship. While focusing on getting a good job isn't wrong, working for someone else's dreams has its limits. Most billionaires started building their fortunes when they stopped being employees. The rich follow a set of hidden secrets not commonly taught in schools. One crucial rule is that they don't work for money. The key is to shift our mindset, focus on building income-generating assets, and invest in ventures with growth potential. Wealthy individuals see money as a tool, using it wisely to create opportunities and multiply their wealth. These strategies are rarely taught in traditional education systems, leading to misconceptions about money. It's time to break free from these ideas and seek alternative sources of knowledge. By embracing the wisdom of successful entrepreneurs and learning the truth about money, you can set yourself on the path to financial freedom and build your own fortune from the ground up. Two. Tracking and safeguarding your money It's crucial for you to protect your hard-earned money from financial risks. To safeguard your money, start by tracking your income, expenses, and savings. This foundational step may seem dull, but it provides a clear understanding of your finances. Tracking income involves knowing how much money is coming in, including your salary, side hustles, or passive income. This helps identify opportunities to increase income and make informed financial choices. Monitoring savings is essential for gauging progress toward financial goals. It goes beyond just setting money aside. It involves actively watching and growing savings over time. Witnessing your savings grow acts as motivation and reinforces the importance of protecting your money. Yet, 
Tracking is only part of the battle. You also need to shield your money from potential threats. Financial leeches can take the form of deceptive investments, predatory lenders, or scams. Education is your strongest defense. Learn about financial literacy and investment strategies. Stay informed with financial news and be cautious of unsolicited offers promising quick riches or guaranteed returns. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Take the time to do your research. Remember, your money is a valuable asset. By keeping a watchful eye, you can confidently navigate the financial landscape, ensuring a secure and prosperous future. 3. Avoid saving in the bank Many of us have been raised to believe that the best way to handle our money is by saving it in a bank. We're told to work hard, save diligently, and trust that the bank will manage our money effectively. However, the truth is, banks aren't necessarily working for our benefit, they're working for their own profits. Consider this, have you ever wondered how banks amass enormous wealth? It's because they use the money deposited by people like us to multiply their own fortunes. Banks lend out our deposited money to others and earn interest from borrowers while we receive minimal interest on our savings. Can you spot the imbalance here? To break free from the cycle of working hard and saving its time to change our perspective on saving. Instead of just saving money in a bank, we should focus on making our money work for us. But how can we achieve that? Let me guide you through it. The key is to become an investor rather than just a saver. 4. Becoming an investor The term investor might sound daunting, but it's not as complicated as it seems. Being an investor means putting your money into assets or ventures that can grow and yield returns. Essentially making strategic choices to multiply your wealth over time. I'm not suggesting throwing all your money into risky endeavors without a plan. What I mean is making informed decisions that align with your financial goals and risk tolerance. One option is to explore stocks and bonds. Investing in the stock market lets you become a partial owner of companies, and as they perform well, the value of your shares can increase, providing capital appreciation. Bonds, on the other hand, involve lending money to governments or corporations, and earning interest on your investment. But investing goes beyond stocks and bonds. There are various avenues like real estate, mutual funds, index funds, and even starting your own business. The key is to diversify your investments, creating a portfolio that fits your financial goals and risk tolerance. Yes, investing involves risks and it's crucial to educate yourself and seek professional advice when needed. If you keep your money in a savings account, you miss out on the potential for growth. It's like burying your money in a jar in the backyard, safe but not growing. By making your money work for you through strategic investments, you open up opportunities for growth and passive income. It's about leveraging the power of compounding and accumulating long-term wealth. Remember, you don't need to be a financial genius or have a large sum to start. Begin with small steps, like investing in low-cost index funds or setting up an automatic investment plan. The key is to start somewhere and be consistent. 5. Debt and Taxes Debt and taxes are two crucial aspects that are often misunderstood when it comes to building wealth. While the idea of debt may sound scary, the wealthy understand how to leverage it to their advantage, especially within a tax system that favors them. The traditional advice of working hard, saving money, and avoiding debt doesn't align with how the rich accumulate wealth. Instead, they utilize credit systems to make other people's money work for them, preserving their wealth and minimizing personal risk. The secret lies in understanding how the tax system works in their favor. Wealthy individuals strategically structure their financial activities to minimize taxable income legally. They focus on capital gains instead of traditional income, using debt as a financial tool. It's crucial to challenge the narrative surrounding debt and taxes. Instead of fearing debt, understanding how to use it wisely and leveraging tax advantages can create opportunities for wealth creation that may seem unattainable otherwise. Approach debt and taxes with knowledge and careful consideration operating within the bounds of the law. 6. Your Financial Reputation Imagine your financial reputation as a kind of superpower in the world of money. It's like a secret weapon that can help you build wealth and open doors to opportunity. But what exactly is it? And why is it so crucial? In simple terms, your financial reputation is how others see you when it comes to money. It's like a report card that shows how good you are at handling finances. Just as having a good name is important, having a solid financial reputation is priceless. 
Your financial reputation is like a currency of trust. When people see you as trustworthy, responsible, and smart with money, they are more likely to do business with you, invest in your projects, or lend you money. It's like having a strong recommendation that says you're reliable and good with finances. But it's not just about what people think of you. It also affects practical things like getting a loan. When you want to borrow money, banks and lenders look at your financial reputation. If you have a history of paying your bills on time, borrowing responsibly, and not using too much credit, it's easier to get favorable loan terms and lower interest rates. On the other hand, if your reputation is not so great, it can limit your options and make borrowing more expensive. So how do you make sure your financial reputation is top-notch? It's not as hard as it sounds. You just need to develop good money habits like paying your bills on time, managing your debts wisely, and trying to keep your credit card balances low. These habits show that you're responsible with money and contribute to a positive reputation. Remember, your financial reputation is a powerful tool. By building and maintaining it, you're not just earning money. You're also earning trust and opportunities.